What's going on everybody? This is E-Bike Guy. And today we're working on my buddy's uh, E-Bike. This is his uh, 45 amp controller, 60 volt um, battery, 20 amp hours. And what happened, he had broke down today, uh, right into work. And uh, what happened was, let me show you, is that his uh, screw came loose. Uh, one of the screws came loose, uh, I guess, and it, and it bent. When it bent, it started to shear off the uh, motor cable. So it, and it cut the motor cable through and he called me and said that my bike just all of a sudden seized. And um, so yeah, that what happened. So I freed it at the store and then we pulled it home with my son's e-bike. And uh, we got home just, we got back to the house just fine. So what we're gonna be doing, we're gonna be uh, opening this hump motor up, this side cover up and see what we can do to uh, get those uh, phase wires changed out. And uh, if not, we have to open the other side too, but we're gonna get it out. All right. All right. So you see, it been burgered up all the way to the shaft to the axle. So we want to just kind of um, we're gonna take this out right here, and then we're gonna splice the uh, motor cable. It's gonna be a little shorter, and then we want to sneak uh, snake it through the axle, and we're gonna resolder right here, and we're gonna throw some heat shrink and tape, and then we'll figure out what we're gonna do with the hall sensors. Uh, yeah, probably just either uh, use one one or the other I don't know but we'll use one of them probably use this one right here I don't know so but yeah we're gonna try to get this uh back on the road right quick all right well everything's getting warmed up we got a hot glue gun we got some heat shrink and we already got the motor cable through the uh, axle and now we wanted to um, use the voltmeter to see what uh, which wire has continuity so we can find the correct uh, hall sensor wires but the phase wires, we already know where they go. And uh, we should, I say by an hour, we should have this bike back on the road, okay? All right, guys, so I got it. I got it all fixed up. Hopefully this thing will work. Hopefully that the controller have not shorted out because of the um, that bolt that was spinning and was kept, was cutting up that uh, the, the phase cables. As you can see, I, I hot glue most of the stuff in because uh, this thing has two hole sensors and two separate hall sensor wires, so we're not using um, um, the other set. So we just uh, did a continuity test uh, for one of the wires so we can match up the hall sensor wires and everything. Uh, phase wires, that was a little bit hard. I had to use the, the Mammoth over there. Let me show you this Mammoth I got from Arizona. I, did, I forgot, uh, actually, I broke. So we had to use this. So we actually had to use this darn thing to get those uh, phase uh, wires loose because um, the Chinese people had must have dipped them wires in tin, and, and it took that. It, I, it, I couldn't even do it with this one. I had to do it with the mammoth over there. So, all right, we're gonna hot glue this up right here to keep the wire from chafing against the uh, axle, and then we're gonna hot glue over here too. And then uh, once we do that, we're gonna go ahead and slap it on in the uh, back in the hub and get it on the bike, and hopefully we'll do a test on it. Uh, the, the the pilot right here. <laughs> All right, so let's we're gonna get this done right quick and see what's up. All right, so we got the motor back on, and we're doing the finishing touches, so like uh, uh, tighten up the kickstand. And we got the hub motor disc brake on. Uh, make sure we have to uh, make sure it's aligned, so the wheel's gonna be rubbing the frame. And then uh, do some uh, tidy on the wire, and then we're gonna give it a test, test, test. And we got clean up all the stuff right here. Yeah. That QS205 don't play when it's come to pulling. I can, I mean, I pulled a freaking mini bike with it one time, so. Yeah. So we gotta keep, gotta keep them, uh, keep them running because, oh, there it is. There we go. It was on, even you know it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, anyways, uh, especially when a person's only transportation is e-bike. Gotta go to work and everything. My personal transportation is my e-bike too when I go pick my kid up from school. So I like to keep them like keep it um up. Okay. You ready to give it a test ride? Yeah, let's do this. Alright.
Man, I'm glad that worked. Yes, sir. Uh, man, I thought we burnt the control up and everything, and then it turns out it was just uh, the uh, phase phase wires just was rubbing and That's cutting. Brakes. Yeah. Well, well, you're going to need some new brake pads. I noticed that the brake pads are getting thin, so they is pretty thin. Cause see this one don't have no regen, so he's using more of his mechanical brakes instead of the engine brake. So we gotta upgrade the controller so that way him you know, got a lot of brake dust on the zoom. Those are brand new calipers too, by the way. And disc brakes. So yeah, um Yeah, but you're gonna need some uh, pads. Those are 19 bucks on Amazon. They they really thin. And uh piston, those uh the pistons is almost extended out. Yeah. All right, so there you have it. That was today's video of fixing my buddy's a hub motor. Uh, apparently, he got it back on the road and went down the road and everything. Everything's working fine, but he's going to need some brake pads soon. And hopefully, he'll get those um, installed right away because uh, that bike can do a little bit of ride about 35 miles an hour. And going that fast, you're going to need some good brakes. And hopefully, we'll be able to update, update his controller. So that way he can have some regen and it'll save um, a lot on his brake pads and everything. So um, let me know if y'all like to, uh, like for me to do more videos like that. Because I be doing a lot of repair videos, but I don't really put it on YouTube like that. You know what I mean? But if y'all like me to do uh, some more videos on repairing like hub motors and batteries and whatnot, let me know down in the comments and everything. Um, but we're going to be doing some more... Uh, family e-bike rides and all that stuff that's the reason why we want to get his bike on uh, together and besides he used that bike to go to work um he works at the church and everything and his son rides his e-bike to school but all right though this is the e-bike guy channel uh this is your boy the e-bike guy and everything so let me know what y'all think about the video and i'll see you in the next one peace